completely random video, but apparently Queso had a really great take about the recent, you know, winner of Creator of the Year category. I hear a lot of people were just fighting between fandoms. Pecora and Queso, even though they probably get along if they actually, you know, collabed or something. What's going on? Y'all can say who all y'all want to and like, it's like, bro, it's like, dude, y'all is so annoying, the whole who. Yeah. Imagine whoing Queso or Pecora. Both respectively one of the just gr biggest creators possible. Bro, he deadass has 47k views live concurrent. And, and the VTuber audience is saying who to Queso. And then the Normie audience is also saying who to Pecora. Even though she's had what? How many years of dominance has she had as like number one? Like, what do you mean who? Who thing. Just because you don't know who they are. Yeah. Don't mean nobody else does. Exactly. And I don't think this even applies to like creators based off of size. I think the whole concept of who, huh, who are they? Don't even know. Like, okay, for sure, you might not know them. But like the whole who part is such an NPC trigger. Like you're instinctively geared and primed to say who when someone that is not who you're glazing is put like a spotlight has been put onto them to try to diminish them. But it's like, who the fuck are you? You're a random fucking comment in chat, you know, being spiteful on behalf of who? The creators? When they have no animosity between each other? You know what I mean? Y'all out here disrespecting Kevin MacLeod with the whole who thing. It's like... Who? Kidding. I, I don't know. I, I'm just ignorant there. I don't know who that is. This it's like this absolute C chat. This is why I don't mess with streamer awards. Because that's all I have been seeing on Twitter the past literal two days of my life is everybody me versus uh. uh Any fandom. In, in the streamer award thing. <laughs> okay. Basically this every one of them. Here, dude. It is so annoying, bro. Oh I'm not gonna lie. I only know of Queso and Usara Pecora here. I think all three here, I'm sure, are huge creators. And it just shows what kind of bubble that we live in. That we don't even... I don't even know who these people are in the middle. Oh my goodness. Dude, the past two days, all I'm seeing is Queso versus uh, Usara Pecora. And they're everybody... <laughs> You saw the Pecora, brother. It goes like who on both sides. It's like, and everybody takes it so serious over. That's right. This is tribalism at its best. Even though the creators themselves probably would get along. And no one is asking to fight on behalf of the creators. The most, just the most radical, the most zealot-like people in the community will drag other creators down in order to like protect their king or queen even though no one asked it's such cringe behavior that comes from people who've never accomplished anything in their life they ride on the coattails of other established creators platforms or communities and then they wage war onto others to diminish their success and whatever they've accomplished in order to make themselves feel better because we're the good guys and everyone else is bad this is such a stupid and toxic monkey mentality that exists in any fandom, and it's so, so cringe. For a streamer award. Dude, the amount of garbage that I see on Twitter over people getting offended, over people getting nominated for a streamer award. And there's another thing, right? The whole topic of streamer award. You're being nominated and there's competition. So already there's this vitriol in the most radical fandoms, right? Ra not radical fandoms, radical members of each fandom or community where they feel the need to put others down because this is competition. Our creator needs to win. And if someone else is being shown, I'm going to diminish them by saying, who, who, without even realizing how insignificant, you know, these people are compared to how big of a brand that these creators have created is absolutely absolutely insane and it goes both ways somebody will go like oh who's queso or they'll go like oh who is you saw the pickle i love you saw the pecora brother bro it don't matter do people do chat you should see it bro on twitter people are actually going crazy yeah like i'm talking beyond insane over this stuff
I mean, y'all seen what's happening with ReZero Mushoku Tensei, right? Like, we're not even doing streamer reward. It's just one show is airing right now. And for whatever reason, both, you know, sides of the fandom, the most radical people, they have the other show in their heads living rent-free and must feel the need to hate, criticize, and try to just drag the name. Because this is just human behavior. It happens everywhere. Dude, I'm talking like it's bad, bro. For no reason. Yep. It's like, bro, people got to chill, man. They got nothing better to do. They're too plugged in. The notion of go touch grass is perfect here. Because if you're actually waging war against other anonymous random people on Twitter, glazing and fighting behalf of someone that never even asked to do it, just like, what are you doing with your life? You must be the most jobless, most no responsibilities, no nothing, stupid child that's just terminally online and just wants to just start drama because negative engagement at least makes you feel something compared to the lonely, numb, bitter person you are. You know what I mean? That's why when I told y'all I didn't want to get selected for streamer of the year, this is why. Because every time you get, you get put up, I'm not other people will get riled up. That's right. Competition. One person will win. Others will lose. And crazies on every side of the corner of each fandom will come out and just make it worse for everyone else. I'm not talking about this award. I didn't even know I got nominated for this to start with. I'm talking about like the... the, like the, uh, the sh that has got to be the most flex thing possible. Didn't even know he was nominated. Still won. <laughs> Bro is doing damage control on behalf of an award that he didn't even know he won or got put into. That's another level of success I can't even comprehend. Streamer awards, streamer of the year, that's an exact reason why I didn't want to get nominated for streamer of the year to start with. Is because everybody takes it so serious and will just say the most egregious, disgusting stuff yep. I've ever seen in my life over a streamer award. Buddy, in five years, nobody's going to remember this at all. True. That's so true. And that's the really sad, maybe not sad, but like, it's so funny how like people start up drama over this shit and it doesn't even last two weeks. Everyone forgets and moves on to the next thing. Why? Because none of this is important. It's just a little, just like a blink in our lives of people that's so bored that has nothing better to do that wages on behavior like this because they're so fucking lonely and depressed and bored again. It's just about that negative engagement and trying to make them feel something in their lives. It's just so sad. You're going to forget. And then you're going to move on to something else to fucking be upset about next week. Except for the person that wins it when they look on their shelf and see the trophy. Literally. It is actually insane. And that's my whole opinion on the award stuff anyway. Dude, I don't need no award. Yeah, I mean, if bro is averaging, like, bro, this kind of viewership... <laughs> like, he's fine. <laughs> Awards don't mean shit. Who needs an award when you have, you know, a strong community that supports you? You're able to make content and do fulfilling things that you want to do. All these accolades and recognition is just... What is this? Trying to flex on other people? I'm not saying Queso's flexing, but like, the whole notion of, you know... I, I guess it's all about, like, celebrating other success. And in an ideal world... Fandoms could come together, and even if you don't know who a different creator is or who their community is, at the very least, you can respect the fact that they've been put onto the same stage, that whoever you're glazing is also on. And you should be happy and celebrating and say, wow, great, I'm so happy for you guys. But people <laughs> online, they're not happy. They're mad. They're frustrated. The common average monkey cannot, you know, be satisfied and fulfilled. They need to make a reason for them to be fucking upset. And if my creator didn't win, I'ma fucking start typing shit on Twitter to rant. On behalf of who? Who are you getting mad at? On behalf of who? The creators themselves don't care about this shit. Why are you like this? As long as I get to boot my stream up every day and y'all pop out every day and we get to chill and do stuff, yeah. I do ain't no award doing nothing for me, bro. Based. It just ain't. 
Now, would it be cool to win them? Yeah, For sure. that's why I tell y'all to slide over to these links and vote your boy in. We could take on three trophy. You know what I mean? I but do. It, like, it ain't something serious like everybody else is trying to make it, bro. Because I've been, dude, I, I do this crazy. It's like a battlefield, dude. You would think they're talking about like world events, man. Yeah, some World War Three shit, bro. This is the most non-serious shit ever. Just a bunch of dudes that plays video games for a living and people are voting who their favorite online video game player is. Are you gonna be mad? Are you gonna be this fucking upset? Why? Just just take a step back and just just break down what is it that you're really involved in and you'll realize this is so unserious. We should be just laughing and having fun. Why are we upset? Y'all seen it, and I'm not even talking about in just the case where it's me either. I'm talking about when anybody goes up for an award, mm -hmm. no matter who wins it, there's going to be a whole bunch of people who jump out of the woods typing who with a question. Yep. Not even just like this, but remember the whole uh, Iron Mouse and Kai Sina situation? Where it's just like, oh, new record-breaking uh, subs, wow, new accolades for Kai or, you know, Iron Mouse. These people will then tear other people down saying, nah, not my creator. You, how, 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 did, how did not my Pookie Bear, you know, win this shit? Who the fuck are they? It's like, you are so ignorant. You have no respect for other, you know, people. You live in your little bubble and you're so surprised that a bigger bubble outside what you exist in, you know, exists. And you're shocked. And rather than, you know, trying to understand and learn, you just get mad and you say, ew. You know, weird VTuber people, or ew, you know, all, you know, Kai's fan does is just scream and yell. It's just like, bro, just shut the fuck up and just, just listen. Question mark. Literally, it don't matter who win it, whoever wins it, if that tweet gets made about so-and-so won this award, there's going to be people in the comments talking about who with a question mark. Yep. Because for some reason, people like to treat streamers and YouTubers like it's football teams. Yep, and I don't think it's limited to just streamers and YouTubers. This happens with any sort of competition. This is tribal mindset. This is straight up just tribalism, right? Just some caveman shit. Back in the day, you got a big man leading the tribe because he can lift the biggest rock. And then across the village, there's another fucking tribe. And you guys could be probably friends and get along. But for whatever reason, you have decided that if you're not with us, you're against us. This tribalism is so just instinctual in our DNAs as just primates, just monkeys, that we human beings, we need to engage in those things. But like, you should be able to realize because you're a human being, you're not a monkey. You're not a primate anymore. You should be able to use a rational thought and realize that, whoa, 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 whoa. Why do I even need to put other people down? We're all here just for entertainment. Team, like it's my football team is better than your football team. Yeah, dude, it's streamers and YouTubers. Just watch who you want to watch. Yeah, I don't understand why people make it a competition. Everything must be a competition to them. You know, a lot of people can't seem to to grasp the concept of you liking your streamer that you watch. Yeah, and just not talking bad about another streamer. But here's the thing: the average person cannot realize this because suddenly if i'm always watching queso and suddenly pecora gets more recognition i feel invalidated and i'm talking to you from the perspective of the average monkey that's you know engaging in this tribalistic behavior i feel like hold up are you telling me i'm a watching the wrong streamer why did the other streamer win my entire life decision and investment into this guy is now moot. Why? Because they chase trends and other things. They care about these superficial accolades and awards as some sort of metric to like confirm their behavior. If you're so confident and you know secure about yourself, you can watch whoever you want and not worry about other people's success. But the most stupid, this delusional people that engage in behavior like this, it's all about their worldview being shattered as if their actions, what they've been doing is wrong and they should have been doing something else, which is the stupidest conclusion you could possibly get to. This also happens in, let's say, anime fandoms. ReZero versus Mushoku Tensei. If somebody suddenly starts voicing opinions against the other show, these monkeys will feel like, ah, shit, I watched the wrong show. I'm not part of the good guys. I should have been doing something else. It's just like, stop it. 
Stop it. And it happens in so many different video games too, right? Video games are leaving consoles like Team PS5, Team Xbox. Guess what, retard? The corporate overlords are playing puppet master on you to engage in these stupid team sport behavior to rally up more engagement to sell more products down your throat. That's what they don't even realize. And this is the really just... This, this is the really um, fucked up part about all this, is that this kind of tribalistic negative engagement is only beneficial in the entertainment industry. The example I just gave you about, you know, Xbox and PS5, the, like, like, quite a lot, the flames of controversy and competition is stoked in order to rile up the average person into taking side into playing team sports. It's the same thing with NFL. NHL, NBA, anything team related, it drives up numbers when you, you know, start engaging in these tribalistic behaviors. Not only that, it also consolidates your, like, loyalty to, like, a community. So it strengthens the community, it drives up numbers for everyone else, but at the end of the day, it's just a bunch of monkeys screeching and throwing shit at each other. Just because you don't like them. Like, bro, watch who you want to watch and go to sleep. Yep. That's pretty much it. Completely random video that has nothing to do really with anime. But, I mean, I do like to play armchair psychologist, right? The pseudo intellect trying to tell you why the things are the way they are. But just my opinion and, you know, after observing so much things online. Here's the link to the video. Please go give Mr. Jibrilia a like on the video. I'll see you next time.